right, so what's going on, guys? Uh, today is going to be a little bit different uh, than my face got stuff all over it. Uh, we went out and we go to this co op where we get seeds from. And we bought three bags of feed. How be ever, you know, you can you can protect against all of this other stuff. Uh, and I went to New Orleans Friday. I left early Friday, and I end up not getting back until late Friday night. How be ever, Sunday Saturday, I got up. Uh, fed the chickens uh, with, with some bags that I had left over with one bag I had left over and it was under the carport and I looked I rolled up my door uh, where I keep the feed at and I'm down to two bags of feed <laughs> so uh, they cost $14 a bag at the local co-op so I've been putting off and putting off these things hooking them up you can see all the wiring I've been running I've been putting off and putting off hooking these things up I actually I may have installed these uh, these are Samsung all the little HD and night light type things I actually here they go I actually been putting off hooking them up until I asked Bells, I say, wait, did you open that bag of feed? Because we had three, but only how much feed y'all feeding them? And she was like, we ain't give them nothing. So, so I called my neighbor, and and I'm thinking, cause he has chickens too, so I'm thinking maybe he didn't have any feed, so he took some of my feed and gave it to to his chicken so cool that's cool if that happened but I call him and he tells me he tells me he didn't get none either so I'm like wait a minute so somebody actually came here and took a 50 pound sack of chicken food <laughs> <laughs> crazy uh, so so today I wanted to do I wanted to give you all I've been I've been in this grafting uh, I don't know hysteria like I'm grafting and cutting and grafting everything so I'm I got the fever and I wanted to give y'all this grafting video uh, today excuse me I wanted to start doing some tea budding so so this week that's what you're gonna see on the channel maybe about one or two videos of actually uh, doing some tea budding right now I'm just going around taking all of these little uh, films off that's it's like protects the little lens or lens protectors or whatever but so I go to church this morning and, and I was supposed to go by my mom's and it just got on me like I, like I don't usually do anything on Sundays but what can you do like you can have all of these things but if you can't protect it like going about doing all of this work and then somebody comes and takes your damn food, you know? <laughs> like I said, I've been had these cameras for months, but hey, I'm I'm thinking I'm in the country. Nobody gonna come and take anything here. You know, sometimes I even, not my house door, but I'll leave the uh, car door unlocked at least until nighttime. So, I was a little ag aggravated because I'm wondering, nobody comes here. Nobody comes to my house. Nobody knows pretty much where I stay. Nobody. 
that I know, even if they know where I stay, they don't come to my house. Uh, and I don't go to their houses, like talking about, uh, especially not uninvited. So this may get a, little, get a little dark. So today has been the day of getting all of these things worked out. And I'll show you where I've been since about one o'clock when I got out of church. How many people actually go upstairs in the attic? It's scared, scared the death out of you. <laughs> Until you get up there for a while, you get used to it, but you like, especially here, you're like, man, what the hell this could be up here? You see bird nest and little nest that you don't know, you don't know what made these nests. Uh, so, for those people that are thinking about doing some uh, putting in your own security system, it's fairly easy. It was way more easier for us because I started this when we didn't have any walls up. And I'll show you that I actually, look at all this. You can't even see up here. Let me turn another light on. I put an extra light up here. I got to plug it in. One second. After these messages, we'll be right back. I used to love those commercials when I was young. All right. The Saturday morning cartoon commercials. And that's all you had back then. All right. So, you get to kind of see how your attic looks. I got a pretty good amount of uh, space but this is what I did I'll show you I basically uh, drilled a hole through one of my uh, studs or, or just a wall bracing and actually I'm running all the wire to all of these different uh, places because I'm pissed off so that was the whole day. Now, now, a good thing is, is that it hasn't been super hot because we do have a cold front coming in that is actually like uh, a little bearable up here. You couldn't do work like this in the summertime. You probably have to pay somebody to do it for you. I'll put that there. But I did a lot of running up here with this wire and doing uh, the summer, that's how I know it's hot. And you gotta be fully clothed because if not, it's either the heat's gonna kill you or this pink stuff is like doesn't forgive. Uh, so, so this is what I've been doing all day, y'all. I've been running these camera wires and I'll show you. You won't be able to see much, but I'll show you what I've gotten so far. I actually got a TV that was in somebody's trash can and I bought it home and it been in the back of my truck, back of my van for about two or three weeks and I just wanted to see what it worked. So I came home, they didn't have a, a plug into it so maybe their plug went bad or something. Or I think the TV like goes in and out, like intermittently it'll just go off but it'll come back on like blinking on and off. So I took that TV And I plugged it up to my camera system. So now I just have to go out. Y'all see all that? You can't see it, but I actually was able to hook up all of these things. And you'll see all these hookups I've been hooking up. I still have, this is actually 10 cameras. I have one that I haven't hooked up because it's a long stretch. And if anybody that ever been in an attic know that you have to crawl, like when it starts getting to the edge, it gets low and you kind of like got to crawl on your stomach to get there. And I just had enough. I did like eight of them 
And I, uh-uh, that's it. You call it quits. <laughs> now, you could easily pay somebody a good amount of money. Let me go turn that off. A good amount of money to do it for you. I think they're charging about four or five hundred, maybe. I don't know. I can't remember. I'll just unplug that. And charging a good bit to install cameras, install cameras. But if you do it yourself, you only end up just paying for the cameras. Uh, if you do it yourself and you're in an attic, make sure you have some light, excuse me, and make sure you have one of those respirators. Uh, because that insulation inside can get to you. Look, Belle's back there. Y'all can't see her, but she's back there sitting. <laughs> she says she's cold, little wimp. She, everybody knows where she's from. It's like uh, she's, she's from the Philippines where it stays hot. And ancestrally, of course, I'm black, so we're supposedly from Africa, where of course it stays hot. So neither one of us like cold. We can't stand cold. Uh, but this one hasn't been as cold. Uh, so I think what I want to say to end this video is you got to protect yourself. Like I'm a, I'm a major procrastinator. So like I say, I've been screwed those things up. I don't know. Maybe during the summer I screwed those uh, cameras up, but I never put them. I never hooked them up because I mean, you feel good and you feel safe and all that good stuff. But you can't trust people. Uh, all I know is somebody took the damn food, and them chickens didn't, didn't come and take it. And I know I didn't go dump a bag of feed. And, and this is the thing about. Uh, I come from what you call the ghetto, and one thing I know is 